Hello everyone, I hope you're well wherever you are and uh, dealing with whatever restrictions you're under. I thought I was long overdue an, an update on this channel. Obviously I haven't been out very much and at the moment I can't get out because the UK is under a, a full lockdown so I'll probably be putting out a couple of processing videos in, in the coming weeks and days. Uh, but I thought I'd update you because I've had a camera system change which is a rare thing for me. Um, I've had this Canon 5DSR now for uh, for six years. It's been with me on all of my trips and it's taken quite a, a beating in the process. I think I worked out that it's uh, been backpacking for 50 weeks now um, in, in, pl in quite mountainous, rugged places. And of course, I get tired when I'm hiking and um, this camera has consequently had, had various bumps and so on. I think uh, blown off a tripod twice and fallen into a river once. So uh, it's had quite the tough life and maybe it's slightly unsurprising then that uh, on my autumn trip to Scotland it started to fail. So the LCD screen was uh, turning off completely and then coming back on but having some weird artifacts and so on. So uh, having sent this into to Canon once before I already know it's beyond economic repair. So I I suspect this is going to end up as a, as a paperweight on my desk because I am sentimentally attached to it, which I suppose is a little silly, but um, it's given me the excuse to upgrade um, and I've bought the popular Canon R5. So I actually already have um, an RF mount camera, which is the one I'm recording with, the Canon EOS R. So I have really enjoyed using that. Um, that uh, was my second video camera, if you like, um, because I did have a Sony a7R II before that, but I really didn't get on with the Sony cameras at all. I didn't like their menu system and ergonomics and so on, and those things are actually really important to me, far more so than, than the image quality. Um, but I have been spoilt with the 5DSR because it produces a pretty amazing 50 megapixel file. So it's allowed me to create richly detailed images and I've been really happy with the colors, dynamic range, ISO, and all of those things that uh, many photographers quibble over. Um, but it really hasn't bothered me. So the, uh, the EOS R5 is an upgrade. It has better signal to noise performance um, and it has much better dynamic range. But to be honest, it's not going to make a huge difference to my work. So the main reason that I have bought this is that it can double as both a stills and video camera. So I'll probably hang on to the EOS R as a backup, um, but I'm hoping that I can just hike with one camera now. Um, and shoot both the video, the vlogs um, with this camera as well as the stills. Of course, the one drawback with doing that is I can't video myself taking the stills. So I'll have to decide if I'm gonna get a, a GoPro or something like that to do those segments or whether I just make do with, with the one camera. Um, and I'll have to gradually change the lenses too. I just have two RF mount lenses at the moment, and that's the 50 millimeter 1.8, which I use as a stop gap between my wide angle and telephoto lenses. And then there's the 24 to 105, which is uh, on my EOS R at the moment. Um, I probably won't use that as part of my main, main kit, um, but I'm certainly going to hang on to it for the time being. And then I'm hoping that I can gradually replace these, uh, these two lenses, the EF uh, 16 to 35 F4 and the 70 to 200 F4. They're both brilliant, sharp, relatively light lenses, um, but I'd like to get rid of the adapter that's required uh, this thing here to, to mount those EF lenses to the new camera. So when Canon releases those in their F4 variants, I'm sure I'll switch to those. And I've also upgraded my audio setup. So uh, this mic that's mounted on top of my screen at the moment um, also doubles as, as my uh, on-camera mic. And my audio quality has improved quite a lot. Hopefully you've noticed that in, uh, in the summer videos actually, because I bought that back in the summer. So I've now got no excuse uh, not to produce high quality video content and certainly the image stabilization and, and image quality of the video on this uh, EOS R5 is so much better than the EOS R. So I'm hoping that that, that will be visible uh, in the videos that I do produce, but of course I can't produce them at the moment. And, uh, and so I'll be putting out some videos probably on image processing and on color, understanding color and white balance because I think that's an area which a lot of people struggle with and there isn't actually a huge amount of good information out there on YouTube. So I will be doing that in the coming days. Uh, but until those videos uh, come out, um, I hope you guys are all well and coping with whatever, whatever restrictions you're under and uh, hopefully things will now improve from here.